Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are looking at the best starting Nerdle equations. It's a puzzle that is all math? Of course I'm going to do a video about this. All right, let's take a look. First off, if you are starting with a single equation, I have a suggestion. Cover as many unique um, entries, numbers, and operations as you can. Here's an example of something you could do where you cover six unique numbers, one operation, and the equal sign. That is a pretty good coverage for a single equation. You could also use an addition equation like this that covers unique numbers, or you can move into something that's a little bit more complicated, a two operation equation where you're covering five numbers, two operations, and you've got that equal sign in there. The reason I like this third one is because you can use this in the next part, which is when we go into two equations. So I'm going to start with that equation. Again, five numbers, two operations, and equal sign. Next, I'm going to add in a second equation that also has five numbers, two operations, and the equal sign. And you cover all ten numbers, all four operations, you get the equal sign in two different places. This is a great combination of two equations that will give you a ton of information for solving your wor your Nerdle. I just about said Wordle. Whoops. All right. If you are interested in Wordle, I did an, a video on that too. So if you're looking at Nerdle, this is a great two equations. They're standard equations will work every time, give you really good coverage and a lot of good information. However, You've got to watch out for those double numbers. When I had this Nerdle the other day, bam, that had so many doubles in it that it was definitely challenging to get it on the third, um, you know, on my third guess. But, hey, go for it. It's a fun challenge. All right. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I hope this video was helpful for you. Bye-bye.